Here's to a hundred years of Indian cinema. For most of us, cinema is limited to the monthly treat of the senses from a story that looks tempting to a star that we adore. Bollywood, or in fact any film produced in India, however, has a larger yesterday that we could learn from. From the very first film shot on camera by Dada Sahib Torne a hundred years ago to on this day to the latest releases that we look forward to every Friday. There has been an evolution in the art, which by no surprise has led us to ponder over what Indians prioritized in the era in which cinema flourished. Starting out with the likes of Raja Harish Chandra by Dada Sahib Falke, known as the father of Indian cinema, subjects and stories have moved through religion to family to freedom, melodrama, conflict, imaginative realism, Marxist and socialist cinema to the League of the 70s that had melodrama and the introduction of the hippie culture all the way to parallel cinema. Even more melodrama, yes, Indians love it. And here we are with technology, action, family entertainers, slapstick comedy, you name it and we have it. Indian cinema has always delivered something or other for every mind that exists. That in itself shows the largest of content produced every year. Every story has a line that stays, every movie goer has an experience that he or she takes home with them. Indian cinema has moved from mobile clock screens with projectors to the cinema hall screens, then came home to our TVs and now is on our computers and mobile phones. Cinema in India is part of our blood. Here's an ode to every individual who strives to make that virtual space seem to be a part of our daily lives. From Dada Sahib Torne to every child who plans to be a part of the great Indian film industry, here's to a hundred years of Indian cinema.